Hi everyone, it's Terry here showing another process video for Pear Tree and I wanted to go back into my archive and use this Wanda cut file from March 2021. So I've cut it from white cardstock and I've left it on my cutting mat and what I'm going to do is use these distress inks to add colour to the letters and kind of the outer aspect as well. So you can see I'm just using um, an ink blending brush uh, just to add colour and I'm kind of going to go kind of a bit of an ombre style going from the yellow into the orange and then into the red at the bottom of the cut file. Um, so you can see I'm just building up that colour because um, the one thing I like about these brushes is if you use them really lightly you can get a really faint subtle colour but then you can layer it up and get much deeper, richer colours with them. So as you see, I've just sped you up um, and you can see how it comes together. And with the brushes, you can keep going over it, as I said, but you don't tend to get any like blocky lines with it. It just kind of all blends together. Um, and you can go to and fro the different colours to get the effect that you want. So there we have it. I'm going to use the Vicky Bootin Fernwood collection and I've got this patterned paper piece to use in my background and I've cut out a bit of white cardstock. So I'm creating kind of a really thick frame um, with that patterned paper, that like vine leaf pattern. So I've got my cut file there that I've coloured in and obviously I've got the letters as well. But I've pulled out this build a leaf stencil from Pear Tree because what I want to do is just add some subtle um, leaves to the background of that white cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some just some normal artist like texture modelling paste, um, and I'm just going to go through the stencil with it. But I'm going to leave it white, so unless you're looking at it closely, um, it's not obvious that they're there in the background. And it's just to kind of build up where those floral, um, leafy areas are on the cut file. So I'm just moving it around um, roughly where those set sections are. Um, I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but there are some slight faint pencil marks where I just made a note of where the cut file letters were. Um, so that I knew where to overlap. So I just dry it off in between each one and then move on to a different um, leaf pattern so that I've got some variety. And now I'm happy with my background, I've just stuck my cut file flush to that white cardstock and I'm going in and adding my letters um, all popped up on foam pads just to create um, that depth on the layout. And I want to bring in some more of that colour um, but first I want I need to map my photos on something so I've pulled out this cut apart sheet um, just to see if there's any of those uh, 4x3 journaling cards that will work as a mount for my photo particularly that larger one, um, the smaller one doesn't seem to work quite so well so I've pulled out this pinky, red, orangey, warm toned um, like ledger paper and I'm just adding it to that so it doesn't need to be, it doesn't want to be anything too um, complicated I'm using this uh, leaf pattern with the greens and the uh, yellows and the reds uh, for that smaller one. So I literally just stick it on and I'm cutting it out. A few years ago I'd have used my um, trimmer and everything would have been straight and precise and now I much more um, prefer kind of a organic look um, as long as they're not completely uh, wonky but I don't mind them being a little bit off. So I've pulled out some of these acrylic pieces and um, they were from one of the earlier releases that Marie did um, but I'm not sure if they're still available or not. But it's worth checking out on the uh, website. 
So I'm just going to stick them on in kind of the colour um, tone on tone areas. So I'm just going to add these red ones towards the bottom and then go up and add a few orange and yellow ones. Because it's quite a big uh, cut file and quite a busy patterned paper that I've used for the background, I don't want to add too much in the way of embellishment because I don't want to detract from the rest of the layout because I don't want to cover up that kind of subtle background that I've just put down um, and kind of wander is like the main thing because this was a walk that we went on in Scotland. I haven't got any ephemera for this collection so what I am going to do is utilise this cut apart sheet um, and I want to use the robin and then this because it was Scotland I thought this thistle um, is ideal. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut out that robin from the centre of that um, journaling card and then fussy cut out the thistle. And I'm keeping the tag on that thistle because I think it might come in handy just as kind of an area for either journaling or like a little subtitle or something. And I realised that that leaf um, shape is going to get covered up quite a lot when I uh, stick it down. So I cut it off and then you'll see me shortly just tuck it in um, to the side so it looks like it's still part of the embellishment. I'm just adding the robin up there, kind of overlapping the cut file so you can still read it um, as it doesn't detract too much. Just adding in a doodled border there um, around that white cardstock. I'm kind of at the point where I'm wonder I feel like it needs something else but I'm not quite sure what at this moment. I'm just going to add the date to that little tag at the side. And like I said, just thinking about what else it needs. And to be fair, my go-to um, is usually uh, some splatters and some sequins. So that is what I do on this. So I've just got some white acrylic paint. I'm just adding um, some white splatters around it. Uh, the kind of areas of embellishment, so where the clusters of um, cut, cut out pieces are and where the uh, acrylic pieces are. I kind of like how it just like sits on top of the, the inked letters as well and it kind of makes them pop a little bit. And now I'm just going through and adding uh, some tone on tone kind of sequins, so going with the yellow, again sticking to the areas of embellishment and where those acrylic um, pieces are. But then moving on to yellow, from yellow to orange and then again to red. And it's really subtle um, but I like the effect. And for me it just finishes off my layout. this is my layout pretty much complete thank you for joining me again on youtube don't forget to hit subscribe if you've enjoyed watching this video and there's links in the description below to pear tree cut files where i got many of these products from bye for now